Hey, what's going on guys? D-Legend here. Lots of new things coming out with Kingdom Hearts Union Cross that I've missed or just haven't been able to talk about with you guys because I've been away on vacation. Um, I was actually down in South America for 10 days, so that was a lot of fun. And if you guys are from South America, let me know which countries you guys are from in the comments below. And maybe we went to the same, or maybe I went to the country where you're from or um, where you know someone. Um, it was a lot of fun and had lots of really good food and got sunburnt a little bit and I don't normally burn but I just didn't I guess I should have put some sunscreen on for the first time in my life but yeah I normally don't burn I just tan really well but anyways without further ado let's talk about Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and all the things that actually not everything that's coming out recently because I don't think I'm gonna be able to cover everything that came out recently but we are right here with the new KH3 deal it features um, this new aqua metal and it's called KH3 anti aqua and the pulls are the, the, it's a it's an interesting banner um, so first of all the uh, VIP version gets you four KH3 medals which is pretty good as well as two trait medals for aqua and then you also get yourself one of these the, one of the three medals shown in the banner uh, within five pulls so it's not guaranteed but the odds of you getting one of those three are quite like they're way higher than if you were just doing the regular banner um so with a regular banner you get one of those three medals in 10 pulls and you only get one trait medal and only one or two kh three medals um very unique metal very cool metal i don't know how i, I honestly don't know how reflect works it i haven't bumped into any in pvp yet because i just logged into the game today for the first time um, since yesterday I guess but I mean I've just still been doing my logins and stuff um, just haven't been able to really make content and really haven't been able to keep up with what's going on just because of the limited time I've had when on vacation so um, KH3 anti aqua what it does is has a new reflectability so essentially what it does is in PvP um, or in regular content it will once you activate the special attack, the enemy, that if it's a magic-based enemy or if it's using a magic metal in PvP, in PvP um, it will reflect 100% of the damage returned to the opponent. <coughs> so, reflecting damage, would, let's say you did a million damage to someone in PvP. I know that's like a really terrible number now at, at this point in time, but if you did a million damage to somebody or if they did a million damage to you with a magic metal like Monsora, let's say, you would reflect 100% of that if you've already used your anti-aqua special attack. So kind of cool. Um, it's going to help in PvP a lot with um, protecting against Monsoras and other really good magic metals in the future. Um, obviously, this is the first of the batch of reflect metals where it only does magic-based um, attacks that... Like, it only affects magic-based attacks, but... Very cool. I don't know how it all really looks like right now because I, I'm a visual person. I really need to see it happen before I can actually tell you how exactly it works and stuff. But I might do it just like one or two pulls from this and try to figure it out. Um, but I don't think I'm going to get Aqua to be honest with you. So, But I have 39,000 jewels right now. I have more saved up here. Let's just go collect these in my present box. And then I have a question for you guys because I need help with deciding what to do with my avatar coins. <clears throat> so there's four days left, as you can see, and I don't have a copy of TVA for those of you who know me. I, got, I went really hard for this. I tried so hard to get TVA, but I was so, like, I was just, I just missed out. But now I have an opportunity to get a Supernova TVA, which would be really cool. Um, it's already upgraded for you, and you would get a bunch more trait medals before getting it. So I think you need 15 um, avatar or 150 VIP coins to be able to get it. Um, and I'm halfway there right now because I did some pulls for the um, for the copycat banner, which is my other option here because I did get Fu, and I could just get eight tra trait medals for Fu, but I don't know if I would want that because. I guess I should probably invest in food because um, I pulled five times to get one of these medals and it'd be nice to be able to use Fu in some different content. Really does change the dynamics 
uh, of the game to an extent, so it would be really good for that. Um, but it's either between Fu or going all the way for a TVA medal for the first time, because I don't think TVA is going to come back anytime soon here. I also don't think uh, trade medals for like these me these uh, copycat medals will be coming back anytime soon. But I also have like a c so yeah, these are all the trade medals I have for TVA currently, and I would get another like. 14 before that so I mean it would be really hard not to get good traits on TVA Compared to Fu where I only have another eight trait rolls. I think so I don't know that's that's my dilemma right now Let me know in the comments below what you guys think I should do with my jewels and my VIP coins um, Should I do another seven pulls in total so 2100 jewels So basically I would deplete half my jewels to get TVA or should I just go ahead and grab eight trait medals for Fu and live with whatever traits I get for Fu that is my dilemma right now, guys. Um, hit me up in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. I would really love to hear from you guys, and it's good to be back and making content. Thank you guys for your continued support. We hit, I think, 650 subs uh, very recently, so thank you guys for supporting the channel, and hopefully we can get to 700 pretty soon here, and then hopefully we keep going. Uh, would I pull from this banner in conclusion? I don't know. It really just depends on how you feel about it, and... Like, it would be useful for other content outside of PvP, for sure. Um, because if the, if an enemy does, like, 200 million damage to you, and you can reflect that to them, then obviously it's going to help you kill enemies faster, right? If, if it's, like, a beat within three turns or whatever, or complete without continuing, then it would help, definitely help, right? Um, PvP-wise, obviously it would help quite a bit. Um, but at the same time, like, what is the goal of PvP? Just to get... Um, meow wows and stuff right and I have a plenty of those so I'm not too worried about it um, so I guess it just again I know you guys probably don't want to hear this but it probably just depends on where you guys are at in the game and how many jewels you have for me personally I think it would be fine if I did the full 10 mercy but I don't really need the metal and I don't really want it per se with like for the cost of 30,000 jewels so probably gonna hold off and pulling anyways I will catch you all soon let me know in the comments below what you guys think and yeah peace out guys